See, when you left the house, you knew. You knew if you shoot up, showed up with a second generation Camaro with a dirty dozen of Pigeon Forge, there's a good chance I would probably draw my draw my attention. It's yes, kind of cheating. It's kind of <laughs> cheating to get on the Scotty D. I gotta let you know. You know, that's like laying down a piece of cake on somebody that's on a diet. You know, so no, what a beautiful car, brother. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, Scotty, this car has meant a lot to me all my life. This was a car that a friend of mine bought, brand new in '70. He kept the car forever, and when he first got it, back in the day, people didn't care about matching numbers, so he took the LT1 out. God only knows where it went. He put an LS7 in it, and he started just driving around, doing a little street racing, nothing, nothing bad. So, and being a friend of mine, he and I would tangle every now and then on the street where we should, or shouldn't, but yeah. we did. And uh, he spanked me every time I ever